Congrats on your brand new purchase of a Habitat Elevation Model C8 hub. Let's get you up and running. Your Habitat Elevation Model C8 package includes the hub, two antennas, a power supply, USB-A to USB-C cable, and an Ethernet cable. The quick start guide found in the box directs you to go.hubitat.com, which will take you step by step through the process we're demonstrating here. Start by affixing the two antennas to the hub. Align them vertically for the best performance. The Hubitat Elevation Model C8 hub can connect to your network via an Ethernet connection or a Wi-Fi connection. If possible, it is highly recommended using an Ethernet connection for the most reliable performance. To connect via Ethernet, connect the Ethernet cable to the hub and your router. Then connect the power supply to your hub with the USB cable, then plug it in to power up your hub. The LED in the front of the hub will turn blue. When the light turns green, your hub is ready to be discovered. Be patient because this may take a few minutes. To connect via Wi-Fi, power up your hub without connecting the Ethernet cable. Once the hub light turns green, open up the network settings on your mobile device and connect to the My New Hubitat network. When the network portal opens up, this can take a minute or two, log in with your network ID and password to complete the connection. The hub LED will blink blue three times if the connection was successful. If Wi-Fi pairing fails, watch for some troubleshooting tips at the end of this video. You can choose to switch from Ethernet to Wi-Fi or vice versa later on in the hub settings after your hub is set up. With your hub connected to your network, you can advance to the final step at go.hubdeck.com to discover your hub. Select Find My Hub and your new hub should appear as My New Hub. Any other Hubitat Elevation hubs connected to your network may also appear here as well. Select the new hub and you will be taken to the registration portal. If you are migrating from a C5 or C7 hub, you can select to do that here but make sure you prep your original hub first. A link for a hub migration tutorial is in the description below. To start fresh, tap Get Started. Agree to the terms of service. Then if new firmware is available, it will prompt you to upgrade. This will take a few minutes and the hub will reboot itself. When you see this success message, tap Continue and give your hub a name. Enter your zip code, which will be used to set the hub's internal clock. Next, you will be asked to register your hub. Registration is required if you wish to use Hubitat Cloud Services. Once you pass the registration step, your hub is ready to use. A Get Started wizard will pop up to help you add devices. You can do this now or skip it to enter the main UI. You can find devices by brand or type. Once you select the device you want to add, put it in pairing mode and the hub will add it to your system. Give your device a name and add it to a room. At this point, you can continue adding devices or move on to automation. This wizard walks you through building automations using the Basic Rules app, which is our easiest way to create rules. Use the drop downs to select the triggering event, which in this case is the bathroom motion sensor sensing motion. Then select the corresponding action, which is for the bathroom light to turn on. In basic rules, you can add additional actions such as waiting until the motion stops and turning the light off. You can add restrictions as well, but we're going to be done and move on to the main UI. And with that, your hub is ready to elevate your home. If your setup experience did not go 100% according to plan, here are some troubleshooting tips that can help. If you are trying to connect via Wi-Fi and the network portal does not show up after selecting the My New Hubitat network, try finding the portal in your web browser at the IP address 172.16.1.1. If that does not work, attempt to connect the network in your settings again. If that still doesn't work or if the My New Hubitat network fails to appear, find the hidden reset button on the bottom of the hub. With a pen, hold the reset button for 7 seconds and release. The LED will blink blue 3 times to indicate the hub is rebooting. Once the hub reboots, attempt to connect with the network again. If the Wi-Fi connection continues to fail, you may need to connect via Ethernet. If you're on an Ethernet connection and your hub does not appear when you attempt to find your hub at go.hubitat.com, first check to see that the green LED light is on. If there is no light, check that the USB connection at the hub and power supply are secure and that the outlet you are using has power. If the light is green, make sure the mobile device you are using to connect the hub is on the same network as the hub. This can sometimes be an issue if you're using a mobile phone that is connected to your cell network or if you have multiple networks in your home. More connection and troubleshooting information can be found at docs2.hubitat.com. And you can always search and reach out to our online community at community.hubitat.com. Thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.